All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at, uh, I guess, the Deep Dish Data. Deep Dish Data at the Spin location in San Francisco. Snowflake day one. Day uh, one. Uh, super excited to be here with Mark and Joe. Uh, yep. So much, doing? so much of talking that uh, will happen at the Deep Dish Data in the next three days. I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, Mark, uh, Joe, tell us more about Deep Dish Data. Uh, Deep Dish Data. So uh, we started Deep Dish Data about a year and a half ago now. So a little, little over a year for sure, at least. And uh, Deep Dish Data uh, is really just a concept of thought leaders and uh, industry uh, coming together and talking through different topics, trying to have a little fun about it. Uh, we're right. talking about pizza, uh, primarily. Do you like pineapple or not on your pizza? <laughs> Uh, having a good time, but you know, just really talking through different challenges and problems that industry, uh, the professionals in our data space have, uh, right. and uh, trying to do something that's not just the boring webinars with slides and all that stuff, but just having some fun. So I love the conversation. So I've had like obviously I've uh, seen a lot of deep dish data, all the debates that you both have as well. Yes, Joe's uh, been on a couple times. He helped me kick it off, so I do appreciate yeah. Joe kicking it off. Then we had our one year anniversary in Chicago. Exactly. Which made sense with Deep Dish Data and right. Deep Dish Pizza Chicago. So. It's the home of it. It was. It what is. Do you, what do you think about it, Joe? What, how did you, like, when Mitterland came with the idea of, obviously, Deep Dish Data, what was your thought? I thought it was a really cool idea. I mean, I, so I've been a long-time Matillion user, actually, as well. And um, so I've right. implemented this stuff in countless uh, projects and customers. So, you know, Mark uh, you know, asked if I wanted to join him, and I'm like, yeah. It makes a lot of sense. It makes so, sense, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. When you have a user, it makes more sense. But at the same time, all the conversations around data engineering, AI, your cover always a good ground. Seen enterprise leaders joining you as well, so which is all the fun, right? Uh, what's the agenda for the next three days? Uh, how's it gonna come together? Because I know you all have so many sessions uh, that are planned just at Spin Your. Spin, so, yeah. And there's a huge crowd that has come to Snowflake Summit. So huge excited. crowd, yeah. We happen to be. Uh, just decided to do this with the Snowflake Summit because why not? Um, yes. So we have a session every day. So right after this, we have a 30-minute session. Uh, but each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're doing that Thursday. But uh, three days in a row, 30-minute sessions with customers, with uh, Matillion executives nice. and other uh, guests on there. So from a customer perspective, we have James Rawlinson from uh, he's a cloud solution architect from London Stock Exchange. Nice. We have Dan, uh, Dana Pilsner from uh, Lima One Capital, data engineer. Nice. Uh, and then Jeremy Post, uh, manager of business intelligence at Coca-Cola uh, Consolidated. So a good lineup of customers. We have, uh, I get to uh, interview Matthew Scullion, our founder CEO, which is always, it'll be a first. Uh, so I'm nervous about that one, actually. I'm not nervous about the rest of them. Good behavior. <laughs> I'm not letting Joe on that one. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I like the customer lineup. All those oh, yeah. names are big enough. So I can't wait for all the content that you guys are uh, creating in the next three days. I'm also kind of curious since Joe is here, Mark, you're here. Uh, data engineering has been one interesting topic. Joe has been a thought leader in this space, talking so much around data engineering with the book. Uh, what are your thoughts about the current landscape of data engineering? Uh, how do you see AI also playing an important role? Should I go first, or you want to go first? You sure? sure yeah. He's always so kind. <laughs> uh, you know, well, I have to take it from the vendor standpoint, right? So, from a vendor's standpoint in this space, uh, AI is definitely changing the conversation uh, for data engineers, and, mm -hmm. and I think data scientists too as well. But definitely for the data engineers, um, and forcing them to really have to get involved more on the data science side. Uh, and that's where, with Matillion, we're trying to help them, you know, get into the conversation and learn the technology uh, with less of a steep learning curve. Yes. Um, and from a vendor standpoint, again, uh, right now, if if you're not talking about AI, you're probably probably in the back of the pack of of vendors to be talked about. And so. Uh, but I really think the things that we're doing are going to help data engineers really accelerate in what they do and how they do it, um, mm. and and you know get to that kind of prompt engineering in their pipelines right. and things like that. So, so I'm excited about it. But it definitely, you know, how do how do we all get into this conversation uh, faster and easier? Probably. So, Joe, thoughts? 
Um, yeah, I echo what you say. I think the data science angle is really interesting where I definitely observed that data engineering, data science are becoming somewhat more intertwined. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's a net good thing. At the same time, the I guess the fundamentals of data engineering, no pun intended of my book, but it's like that becomes a lot more necessary, I think, to form the foundation to make data science and machine learning and AI workloads successful. And, and so I think that on one hand, AI is an accelerant. On the other hand, um, if you're not careful, I think it's going to let you do dumb things more quickly. So you really need to, I think, go back to first principles and really understand um, what it is that you're trying to do. Mm. And so I, I feel like, you know, in my opinion, one of the biggest gaps that we have yet to overcome really is the knowledge and skills gap with um, data science, data engineering. And I think once we can overcome that gap, uh, you know, I think it'll be... Um, a very cool world we live in. A lot of things will be done much more quickly, but there's there's a lot of work to be done. But yep. if anything, the the, the the talk around you know AI is bringing data front and center to the conversation. So I think net net that's a positive thing for the industry. It's something data practitioners for years have been screaming about, and nobody would listen to them. So now we're actually <laughs> here. Um, now we just need to execute on that. <laughs> yeah. So. No, those are fantastic insights. So uh, also since we are here at the Snowflake Summit and uh, if people want to reach out to you, I know uh, you know we can come to Spain and spend some good time here with all the folks and all the parties. Tell us more about what's happening at uh, Spain in uh, where can we all meet Ma Joe and Mark. Well, I hope Joe comes to the party. So Tuesday, tomorrow, Tuesday night, uh, there will be a party here at Spin, and uh, everybody's welcome. I think you can go out to the Snowflake Summit page and find a link to it and register. Uh, so it'll be a good time. Uh, ping pong tournament, uh, all kinds of fun things happening here at Spin. It's only a, a block away from the uh, event, so nice. easy to get to. Uh, stop by and have a drink, and we'd love to uh, love to chat. Maybe maybe won't be talking data science and AI. You Tuesday night, but you never know. Could be really <laughs> interesting after a few drinks, so could be good. Okay, that's great. Uh, thanks for doing this, Joe. Mark, uh, such a pleasure to chat with both of you, and uh, all the best for the next three days. All right, well, that's thank you. Fun. All right, let's have fun. That's, a, that's the objective. <laughs>